The Ward Stormwater Floodplain Simulation System is an innovative, hands-on model designed to clearly demonstrate the critical role of floodplains and the impact of human development on stormwater runoff and severe flooding in many areas. Developed for education and outreach in cooperation with the Michigan Stormwater Floodplain Association, the model offers a real opportunity to educate children and adults alike about the dangers and impact of unplanned development and human activity in the floodplain. Why is this so important? Flood-related deaths in the U.S. account for more fatalities than all other natural disasters combined. Add to that the millions of dollars in flood damage to homes and critical infrastructure each year, and the importance of effective floodplain management is easily recognized. So how does it work? The large-scale and visually striking model features a nearly four-cubic-foot clear acrylic tank, a colorful hand-painted resin landform insert, a stepped riser for changing slope, a rainmaker, and three different plug-and-play headwater trays, along with a wide range of miniature models and accessories to simulate several real-world environmental scenarios and add realism to the landscape. Let's view some scenarios in action. Using our parking lot headwater, we'll pour a measured amount of water through our rainfall simulator and observe what happens in our river system. As water quickly runs off unabated from the parking lot, we observe that flooding readily occurs in the floodway and flood plain where some homes are located. A staff gauge located on the side of the model allows students to measure and record the height of the flow over time to construct a simple hydrograph. Following their observations and measurements, students will speculate on how they might mitigate the flooding. One answer might be to construct a levee. Using modeling clay, students will build and position a simple levee where they believe it will be most effective in protecting homes in the floodplain. They repeat the parking lot runoff situation once again and observe the results. Did the levee work? What happened to the homeowners and properties downstream? What was the impact of constructing the levee? Does this comply with a no adverse impact approach to floodplain management. In a subsequent scenario, students will test the concept of using a retention pond to control runoff. They will place a retention pond tray beneath the parking lot and repeat their experiment using the same amount of water. What happens to the runoff water from the parking lot? How does the presence of a retention pond influence runoff? What happens in the floodplain? Students will observe the release of runoff water is more gradual and controlled, and that flooding does not occur. In a third scenario, students will explore the value and effectiveness of wetlands in flood management. Here they will use a wetlands headwater tray that contains a series of damp sponges. Pouring the same amount of water at the same rate into the system, they will observe and record the height of water flow over time and the net amount of water exiting the system. How was the rate of flow affected by the wetlands? What impact did the presence of wetlands have on flooding downstream? What percentage of water did the wetlands retain? These are but a few examples of the many scenarios students will design and test as they explore the floodplain system. Most importantly, they will work as a team to find and test solutions to a variety of floodplain problems simulated by the model. An in-depth curriculum guide will provide useful background information and lab procedures, and will also introduce students to important new concepts such as no adverse impact, turn around, don't drown, runoff footprint, green gardens, green roofs, and porous pavement all new tools in the management of our critical watershed resources. The Ward Stormwater Floodplain Simulation System is an important addition to any environmental education program and a dramatic way to raise public awareness of critical floodplain issues.